All right. So yeah, we've been been away from this for a couple of weeks and uh, life's gotten, you know, spring's hit and life's gotten a bit crazy. And so um, welcome the ladies that are here and then who will watch this afterwards. So, and what are we, what are we talking about today, <laughs> Stephen? Well, you know, we have so much information on so many things. Um, I, I have some questions from the group and I really oh, encourage Oh, this would be this why don't why don't we ask why don't we ask some why don't we get started with the questions and make sure that we get okay. them taken care yeah. of? You know, I um I really tried to encourage, you know, these uh oh, there we go. I okay. Can you guys still see me okay or not? Yeah, but you're sideways. I have you to say. Yeah, really. it, was, it, was, it was sideways all of a sudden. I was trying to figure out how to get. Well, okay, hold on. Let me just get to the group real quick. Um, I was trying to encourage the women to come on. And, you know, and not everybody can meet during this time. And so, and I get it. Um, oh, there you are. You're, up, you're right side up now. So hopefully I'm right side up. Oh, now my, the group is upside down. Okay, come on. This card, okay. Um, some of the group. Uh, ah, this card. I don't know why it's coming up. I don't want. Been there before. Don't worry. Yeah, it's like okay. I'm gonna take it out of the thing, and I'm gonna try to figure. Go away. Make this discard go away. There we go. Now go back to. For some reason, it keeps wanting to post something. That I don't want to post there. Just a card. Seriously? Okay. It's one of those days, trust me. You know what? It is one of those days. It really is. <laughs> Hold on here. There's been more than once where I wanted to scream. There's no joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 crazy today. So I'm just going to do this for now and then I'll go back and I'll edit it later. And then, okay, come on. So let's go to. I'm, I'm going to try to log in on my computer and not on this phone because everybody's face is like, you know, a nickel size. So I'm try. I know. Normally I do it on my computer and I thought, oh, I'm going to do it on my phone today. And then I'm like, yeah, this wasn't a good idea because that way I could have gone to my phone and done all this. So I, I have, ugh, there's all your great progress in the group. So. People are, you know, they're complaining of, of side effects. Okay, so this one is, does anyone feel sick and even tired when they start the compound semaglutide? And we've gone over this many times. And that's why, you know, I've asked, you know, have you have the opportunity to watch the recorded, you know, you know, calls in the group? We go over how to deal with side effects. I would recommend scheduling a call with Stephen and I to put together a customized plan for you. These calls are free to members of the group. And then someone else said they're exhausted and, you know, how long you've been doing it. And so there's that. They're just dealing with the side effects of exhaustion. Can any of you please share what your experiences were when you stopped taking semaglutide? I've been off of it for two months now and I'm always hungry. I originally lost 52 pounds and have put back on eight. I'm scared I'll put it all back on if I don't do something. Once again, I responded, Hey, have you watched the videos there? They, they, we, we address this and try to get on the call and try to schedule a call with Steven and I so we can put together a personalized plan. Um, but it's like they come in and they drop the question and then um, they don't come back or something. I don't know. But um, so basically it's that we've got um, a couple of pe you know, people that are, uh, there we go, people that are having a challenge with you know side effects and exhaustion and now gaining the weight. I know you've gone over it multiple times for us, but you know, I guess we need to oh, you know what? Sometimes we have to go over it over. Yeah. And over and over again. And there's what nothing that? wrong with that. You know why? You have to see something several times before it actually clicks. The thing about GLP one is this there's a great podcast uh, many podcasts right we have everything from andrew huberman to dr mark topol to peter Antel. the side effects come from what you're eating right yeah. um 
it a lot of it has to do with what you're eating. If you have a remember everybody, GLP one slow your stomach from emptying, right? It slows it down. So you're gonna sit, it's gonna sit there. Yeah. I could tell you after I take my injection, the day of the day after, excuse me, the day after, the day after that, maybe even the day after that, three days afterwards. I always have a protein shake with my supplements. That's just the way it is. That's the way that my world works. Now, am I nauseous a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I am a little nauseous for a little bit. Is it unbearable? No, no. But I will tell you one thing. If I had a hamburger and French fries, I would be sick for days. If I had pizza, I'd be sick for days. If I had pancakes and bacon, I'd be sick for days. If I had any fast food, I'd be sick for days. If I had sodas, I'd be sick because let's just or let's just take orange juice, orange juice, right? In cereal. First off, orange juice is incredibly acidic, right? And it's just going to sit in your belly. If you're going to sit in your stomach, right? No, yeah. that's not, it's not a good idea, everybody. So the thing is, the side effects that we hear about are, they, they, it, it's less than 30% of the population utilizing these drugs. That is the number. It's less than 30, right? So let's say it's two out of 10 people. Now, this is the interesting thing, and we've heard this, and we've heard this, Lanita, and, 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 and you, Rochelle, and same thing with Sherry, and probably a lot of the viewers as well. There's a commonality, there's a common thread. If you slow your stomach from emptying, and you put the wrong things in it, you're going to get sick. So and that, makes, that makes sense. Now, and for the exhaustion, I would imagine it's, you know, uh, there was, we, we had a call, and I forget, her name and, and that's who I thought it was Rochelle but there was someone else that we had a call with you and I Stephen and she was exhausted and come to find out she was only eating like 588 calories a day and she wasn't taking supplements and so yeah you're going to get exhausted because you're not consuming enough calories to go about your daily business you're not putting enough fuel in the tank to do what you need to do Oh, oh, look, we've got people coming in. Woohoo. Hold on here, guys. Renee, that's it. So awesome. Renee's joining us. And Renee, we, we had a call with Renee. And so that was okay. We're on. Everybody good. Okay. Fantastic. So, and that's, you know, and so when Renee gets on, she can maybe share that how. Upping her protein, she made a point to get her protein up to 90 grams a day, and then she was feeling better. Now, I do think she still was dealing with exhaustion like the day of. Renee, can you hear us? Well, I was doing like a little bit of that. I'm sorry? Yeah. Oh, maybe that was someone else. So, you know, that the exhaustion is you're not putting enough fuel in your tank and it is it is more than just the fuel it's more than just the fuel now is that a huge component 100 percent, right can't you can't drive your car more and put less gas in it i mean i i mean if you really want to try that i i don't i, I don't <laughs> want to tell you um yeah. but the other and, thing is, and you can't put diesel, you can't put diesel in a gas tank. And that's the other thing is you need to put good quality fuel in your gas tank. So, absolutely, it's a must. Um, but let, let's let's just take a look at this a little mm -hmm. bit differently than just fuel, right? We have macros, right? We have protein, yes. fat, carbohydrate. Now, part of those things that we often miss, what we often overlook is micronutrient deficiencies. Now, minerals, now the, the minerals, the vitamins. Now, one thing that I like to I, I like to, to bring up into this point is why we do six daily. Yes. I guys and girls, everybody listening, I thought I was a like supplement guru. And I, I do know a lot. I do know a lot. 
but the six daily for what you get is what you need. It's what you and need. you you were a skeptic in the beginning of six daily. You didn't jump on board with the six daily. You hesitated. I I was taught to be an open minded skeptic, right? So. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, is now we have a very simple solution to take care of the micronutrient deficiencies, but let's, let's just, let's feather this out a little bit when it comes to micronutrient deficiencies. Now, the one that is kind of the, kind of the, the, the big dog in, in the room is vitamin B12, right? Methacobalamin, uh, yep. it, it's, it's a, it's a very, very important supplement. The main reason why B vitamins are considered the energy, right? They're used for metabolism. Every single metabolic response that cells do. Now, you got a lot of cells doing a lot of different things. They all need B12. So if you have no B12 and you think you, you have to start, the cells like, are why am I tired? Why am I tired? Why am I tired? Not only... You you see how it becomes a very it's 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 at the power of compounding. It's not just one thing. You add two things, and now you have a you have a huge problem going on, right? So with with that said, um, you're not putting enough fuel in the fuel tank, and then you have no oil in the in the. In the, in the there you go. Yeah, here's a great idea. Yeah. Here's a great idea. Um, turn on the car, drain the car of oil put a little gas in it and just just see how far you could go do that every day and uh that that's that's what you're doing to the body and that's why yes. so there's the the thing that we we're trying to we really trying to establish right now with everybody is there's a cause and effect right so for those of you that are not that that have nausea that have these very 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 intense side effects one it's less than 30% of the people utilizing this. So I'm not here to point fingers. I'm not here to, I'm not doing anything. But what I am here to tell you is let's look at the numbers, right? So you're less than, you're, you're at a, you're at 20% of the population that are having these side effects. So now what we have done in the medical field and academia was being like, all right, sounds like you're slowing gastric emptying. We're going to have some issues now. Yes. What, 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 had, what has really gone on now is people started not thinking of the answer. Well, why is this, instead of thinking, well, what's going on here? They started asking the right questions, right? It's not about the answers. It's about the right questions. And the right question is, well, what are these people eating that are having these side effects? And that's where it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You're eating 12 pancakes for breakfast? Like, what, what? where in God's green earth is that a good idea? You're having a bowl of cereal with orange juice. Again, you're throwing acid in a vat, right? So, again, it's yeah. not finger pointing because guess what, everybody? We've been lied to for as long as we've been alive. <laughs> yeah. So, let's yeah. just call a spade a spade. Um, so, to everybody with the with the side effects is what you really have to do for those of you having the most severe side effects. Yes, indeed, schedule a call with me and Lenita so we could do yeah. a dietary recall. Now, I just got off a phone with somebody who uh, who we're switching over from semaglutide to trisepatide, and I want to share this story because it's not the only time I've heard this. She is in Tennessee. Um, she is the ex wife of a very very. Um, close patient friend of mine i've actually it's the first time i i, I know his new wife he's got the ex-wife I, I got the kids I, i'm helping everybody because i'm switzerland all right I, I remain neutral um first off she was getting her semaglutide in a plastic bag with four needles oh right okay. right here. so who knows what her, she was getting she has no idea what she's getting she has no idea what the dose she's getting because at no point in time should you be taking medications that come in a plastic bag without your name on it. I mean, did have we not have we not been to like ele this is like elementary school level common sense people, right? You know, it comes down with a lot of that. It comes down to you know, let's you can get a better deal, and you know, but thank is you for calling Southwest Medical. What's that? Okay, Paula. 
Were you talking to us? Okay. And now she's just not, the phone's not on mute, so we're just getting, you know what I'm going to do? I just, yeah, I can go ahead and. Yeah, mute. Um, How do I do that? So what, 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 what it is, what it is, is um, we won't get lost in this. Let's go back to the fact oh, of I just met with somebody <laughs> and. Get it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to mute it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> do we know how? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Mute. 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 There you there go. go. All right. Um, there you go. What? What? So the, let's go back to the what? What the real main point is? People that are having the worst side effects, um, the nausea, the uh, exhaustion, the energy, the exhaustion. It it's a cause and effect. Right. We now know this. It's a cause and effect. But what we have to do is we have to figure out what are you consuming? What are you not consuming? And um, I don't want people to be scared to talk to us because uh, let me let me preface by saying this. If somebody came into my life and said, I need you to change this, 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 I'd be like, no, thank you. Um, but what we can do is we could change one thing. One right. thing at a time. And that's, those are the biggest steps, right? Figuring out what causes the worst, not what are you having for breakfast? What's going on? And then we address it and it's, we, we address each person individually. We address each person as an N of one, which is from a, from a, from a research methods. N is how many people are in the study. So you are your own study. Uh, what works for Paul is not going to work for Renee. What's going to work for Renee is not going to work for Karen. What works for me isn't going to work for any of you, right? Let's just like that's 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 where that's where we are. So you got to understand the side effects can be mitigated. They can be controlled, and it has to. It, it's really it's in your control of doing that. It's it's not the medication. It's what you're consuming, right? It's it's right. Well, and. she doesn't know what she was getting so we don't know what she's injecting into her body and that's a lot of it you know so it's that you've got the right medication and that a lot of these people in this group you know they get it and they i mean even from doctors i'm hearing where they get it from a doctor and they have no coaching whatsoever none it's just like here good luck you know take your shot once a week and then walk out the door and the, it, like you so, and the, Rochelle is going to actually, part of this call is she's going to share with everyone about her call with us, with you and, you know, how thing, how that went and what's going on and how her success, um, because it really does make a huge difference to talk to someone who knows this program inside and out and be able to, you know, personalize it that's the huge thing because we are all different like you said and of one everyone's going to have a little bit of a tweak or a bend that we need to work out and like with me when i do my calls it you know with the hcg calls it's like i listen to what they say they're doing through their round and red flags are popping off all over the place it's like well, wait a minute you know and it's like you know if you don't do if you do this or don't do that it makes all the difference in the world and it can take a very unsuccessful round into a, an extremely successful round just by a few little tweaks. And, but we don't know how to tweak everybody unless we talk to them and find out how to tweak it. The more information we have, the yes. faster we can help you. <laughs> yes. So I, if you are, so if you are interested, Rochelle, right now, if you want to jump in and just share about your call, where you were at, what you've done. I mean, you've been sharing in our group and I really appreciate it because people need to see success stories they need to hear what someone is doing right now that everyone else in this room or in this in this in this conversation rochelle is doing what you've done and everybody yes. needs to hear these stories they really do yes so i'll start off by saying that i'm from california and i originally lost my weight through hcg and that was in 2014 okay i was the highest weight i was 278 i believe so now today i'm at 147 and i'll keep rocking these two pounds right i got ten, in my perception i'm five five so I, I need to lose 10 pounds it's my own personal goal but um i lost a little bit of the conversation after Stephen was talking about side effects and about the orange juice or whatever but i know for me the fatigue 
is there, but mine's happen when I don't hydrate the day before. Oh, okay. good and I, I just figured that out maybe about, maybe about a month ago. So with my body, if I don't hydrate, I used to get migraines really bad, but the migraines don't happen. It's more of me being tired. I don't want to get out of bed. So in order for me, when that happens to me, and I know that I have to drink a gallon or more a day to, and it's hard for me to do that when you, when you're on this medication is to hydrate and then eat too. That's the most difficult thing for me to is hydrate and eat. And I'm, I'm an intermittent faster like person, right? It, for some reason, I just have this in my mind that I have to intermittent fast, but um, I have to get over that, that I need to eat six times a day. So I have to schedule my meals, got to get my behind up early, 536, get my cardio in fasted, then start off with a carbohydrate first. So my body's different. I, my body likes carbs now. It used to be different. So I can eat carbs, but then protein has to only be at the end of the day. So um, back to the side effects. My side effect is no water. I have to drink water if I don't want to feel tired. But the way I get myself out of that, and Stephen, I'm going to say this, and I might be saying, I don't, I'm going to tell you what I do. I'm not going to give anybody advice. I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor by all means. I just know that I've been on every single diet in the planet, including Ventramine and all the other stuff that comes with this challenge that we're going through, right? So yeah. I have some Ventramine that I've been holding on to like this for a long time, right? And so in order for me to, when I'm tired like that, I take a half of a capsule of Ventramine. I just break it in half and I know I take that. That's going to get me out of bed. It's going to get me going. If not, I'll lay in the bed till 11 o'clock, I, I, 10 o'clock. I, I will do that because I'm tired. I just can't physically get up and get on with my day. I work from home, which is an advantage. Um, so my I make my own schedule. But that's what gets me up. But I know that now I have to hydrate. I have to drink that water. And it's during the week, I'm fine. On the weekend, Stephen, it's difficult for me to drink the water because our time schedule is different because we got everybody's at home, husband's at home and things are happening different, but in a week I can control it. And when it comes to the eating, I recently went through from July until Christmas, I had a personal trainer before I got on this um, Telewell, this MD, their mm -hmm. brand of Glutide. I had tried it before with another company. It didn't work. I only lost four pounds. I was so frustrated with, and I paid a lot of money. You hear me? I don't want to say it, but it was a lot. Yep. I and hear I, it all the time. And the universe brought me to you through HCG. Okay. HCG is a, is not a bad diet. It's whoever, whatever, whatever works for you. I just right. could not deal with not eating the carbs. Right. So that being said, I'm thankful. I'm glad I found Steven. I found you guys and I found you through the internet, Matita. So I, um, for me, it's been the best thing ever. I've lost the last 20 pounds of it, 15, 20 pounds of it. And that's the only way I could do it was through this whole platform. But you, I have to eat. For some reason, if I don't eat enough, I don't lose the weight. Yep. And it's a combination for me. I've learned that. I've learned through trial and error. Because I'm telling you, remember that first week I lost that 10 pounds within like four or five days. It's like, and I and I posted it on the group where you can see it physically. I, can, I track, I track, I track all my macros. I track my fats. I track everything at least five or six days a week. Maybe one day a week I don't do it because I'm busy, but I track it because I want to see what my body's doing so I can trick, yeah. fix it when it's out of whack. But for me, I'll tell you what I do. I get up, I do my fat, I, I work out, I walk 30 minutes or whatever it is. Then I eat, I eat cream of rice every morning. Um, it's one fourth cup. And I eat that after I work out. And then I eat after that, my, I eat six meals a day. My second meal of the day, like two hours later, either four to six ounces of protein with a vegetable, not with another starch. Yes. And then all day long, that like maybe that fourth meal, I can have another fourth a cup of rice, right, with a protein. But I eat six times small meals a day. And believe me, by the third ounce of protein, I'm so full, I'm stuffed. But I have to make myself eat it because I know if I don't, I won't maintain the muscle. I've right. learned that. And I've saw it happen when I lost that weight really fast. I'm like, why are my legs, like, don't show tone anymore, even I'm working out? Because I have to eat that protein. And I have to, those macros, I have to hit my macros. I have to hit 
minimum 90 ounces of protein a day. If I don't, I can see the muscle just go. And now um, by me going through a personal trainer, you know, and learning that, that how, how to, how to fix this. And then I got back on some glutite after I left her in December. And that's how I lost the last 15 pounds, but I was with her because I was a ACG person. ACG is a good diet for people that can stick to it. Yeah. But I wasn't losing weight with her, even though I was training with her and she was tweaking my diet. But what I did learn from that, Stephen, I can say is learning what macros are, and fats and carbs and all that. I learned I don't have to starve myself to lose weight. Right. It was a very good experience. And I did and lose weight with her, but not fast. I must have only lost maybe I was 170, 179 when I got with her. By the time I got finished with her and I did six months with her. I was 164, the lowest, but I creeped back up to 173 or 74 because it just wouldn't stay off. And then I found you guys. So well, when, you, when you go to a personal trainer and you're working out, you're building muscle, which is then also increasing the weight. And, you know, a lot of people think that carbs are evil and everything. But in reality, especially if you're working out, your body has to have some carbs for fuel. So okay. I'm grateful know. for that because... We all, I mean, you know, we say we like carbs, right? But like you said, Stephen, what makes me sick to my stomach is how I eat something, any kind of stuff, anything that doesn't happen in my kitchen, anything that hasn't happened in my kitchen, I get sick. Yeah. And, and it doesn't happen the first day. It happens later that evening or the next day. Like, why am I sick? Well, you know that Wendy's burger, that two bites you ate because you, because somebody else was eating and you wanted to bite because you can smell it. And now I just, I just won't do it. I, I do because I, I said, if I don't want to feel sick, it tastes so good. It's like, you know, but then like you said, Stephen, I don't want to get sick. So well, you have to, by trial and error, you have to figure out what works for your body. And Stephen is exactly right. That stuff that's not made in your kitchen. And if you didn't make it, it's not worth being sick. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if it comes in a package and you know, it takes a long time to get it into your brain. What, when the tongue wants something and it's screaming for it and it wants it and we let it have in and then we feel like crap, you know, with me, sugar, when I eat sugar, it literally makes my muscles ache. It's like, I'll have something and especially like high fructose, you know, bad sugars, my body aches. And for the longest time, I just dealt with it. You know, it's like, cause my tongue wanted what my tongue wanted, but there's comes a point where it's like, God, I don't want to feel like that tomorrow I, I don't want to feel like that tomorrow it's not worth feeling like crap to eat crap <laughs> you know but, but so you have willpower you have willpower and like i'm gonna say that i said this this is like my best kept secret with some of my friends and family because it's just private for me and how i lose weight is my own personal business i don't mind sharing it here with people but it's just that if you're not serious about doing it and making this lifestyle change, don't waste my time. That's just the way I am. I'm, I'm just I'm honest with my friends. I say, when you're uh, when you're serious about losing your weight, and you're going to stop doing what you're doing, like the drinking. And the, cause I, I'm 54, but I have friends that are like younger, like 10 years younger than me, when they still want to party and have fun. I said, until you stop that, then you come to me and I can tell you what I'm doing. But until you are serious, about, and I test them, I said, because I am right now, I'm going through a program um what is it nasa school for nutrition and being a professional oh, coach. NASA, yeah NASA, yeah so i'm going through that right now and i know you know i've learned and i, I said i'm not i can't personally coach you because i haven't passed the test yet but i can tell you what worked for me and tell you're serious don't come to me because I, I don't have time to be giving you what i did you gotta be serious and then i will disclose what i've done what, on a personal level but i gotta make sure they're, they're okay for four weeks you know macros and counting and stuff. see how serious you are and see if you can lose weight on your own and then I'll tell you how to do it the fast way. I'll have one friend that is, I think she's going to order her her um, her uh, stuff through you guys next week. And she's going to go through the same thing because she had the same experience I had with a with uh, another company that's local and it didn't work. We spent, I mean, we spent over a thousand dollars for four weeks. I'm just going to let you know. Wow. And then so, it got to the point to where I had to ask for my money back because I was mad because I don't know it wasn't working. But now with the B12, so Stephen, can you tell me that? It's, so yours is mixed with B12, right? Is that the reason some. why it's happening for me? Some. Okay. Oh, you're on mute, Stephen. There we go. Um, some are compounded with B12. Some are not. Um, 
truth be told, the dose of the B12 is very, very minuscule. So you'd still need to be taking more B12 uh, either way. Um, it's the way that compounding pharmacies can make sure that they get us the products, right? We've seen it mixed with the, the best one still. I, I mean, I, if I, I, it really was, was when they mixed it with BPC-157. That was like, yeah. that was a dream that you were like, who, what, Christmas? This is brilliant. Um, it was brilliant, yes. It really, like, if you really want to combine two things, um, unfortunately, that's not the case. But B12, you 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 need it. You need you need a lot of it. Um, but the the first thing that we will I want to go into that. But there's two things that I think that everybody should hear about. This is um, daytime fatigue. The the top three reasons for it: sleep. If you didn't sleep, obviously you're going to be tired, right? Like, like I mean, how how hard is that to figure out, right? Like, what's wrong with you? I haven't slept in three days. Well, yeah, no kidding, you're tired. Um, two would be medical conditions, which we're just going to leave out. Number three, dehydration. <laughs> and you know what people fool dehydration with? I'm hungry. Right. Makes it worse. Yeah. So dehydration is a big thing. And, and you know what? Eating a higher protein diet, which the New Year, New You program has definitely gone into, is the higher protein content, you must drink more water because if not, you will get constipated. That yeah. is, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, right? It Water keeps everything kind of lubricated, mm -hmm. moist on the way out. I mean, it's, that's, that. I mean, we could go over it with saying that, right? Like, just think about that. If you're not hydrated, it it just gets it gets harder to do everything when you're dehydrated let's just call a spade a spade think about it yeah. you're dehydrated let's go for a run you're like no 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 no, no. help help me um so dehydration and hydration are a vital vital component and i you know thank you for bringing that up because i don't think we say it enough how important hydration is if we're having a protein-based diet mm -hmm. now the other thing that everybody needs to hear about is something called TEF or thermogenic effective food. The thermogenic effective food is if you eat the right protein sources in the right amounts, the energy that's needed to break it down. Digest it. Digesting it. So not only are you building the lean tissue, cat, um, squirrel, um, is you're building lean tissue, you're repairing the body. You can't build a house without wood and nails, right? Mm -hmm. You try, it's going to be pretty hard. Um, but when you're doing that, what is often and almost always overlooked is when you consume a higher protein diet, your body requires more energy to break it down. So I have worked in many different realms, but I will tell you um, is working with, um, I have worked in the past with, with um with people that were overweight and i'm not going to say obese right because you have to hear this out they were post-op so they weren't able to work out right um, so one thing that we got them to do to lose weight is by increasing their protein intake correctly because look if you you can't move Right. You, they, you got both your knees cut open, can't do too much, need to lose some weight. We increase your protein intake. It increases your metabolism from the inside out. So that is absolutely true. Um, the other thing, too, is if you're working out and really taking care of yourself <coughs> and you do not consume enough protein, it's going to chew up muscle. Yep. Right. It's going to chew up muscle. That means yeah. wait, wait, and then remember, like some of the so we're like bringing all of this like full circle with all of the questions, right? And 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 Russia, you're like a vital component to this. Is people are at the end? Well, I got off of it, and I can't stop eating. Thanks. Well, you didn't change anything during the program. That's the bottom line. You lost 50 pounds. I know that's a that's a very big accomplishment for the individual who asked that question. And I'm not here shaming. What I am is we're here to talk about the facts of what you provided us, right? You're hungry all the time. You're up eight pounds already. 
Now, in that same circumstance, you'd be like, well, all right, first meal of the day, what are you eating, right? You, if you eat it, if you eat enough protein, right, Rochelle? You eat enough protein for breakfast, you're going to get full real quick life. And if you're hungry right away, it's because you didn't eat what we told you to eat. Nothing, nothing has changed. You lost 50 pounds and you decided to go back to square one. I eat my protein first and then I go to my veggies. And if I have, so if I'm not, I, I do that first. And then if I do have like one fourth of carbs, then I, if I can eat that, I will. But my protein, I eat that first until it's gone. And then I go to my veggies because I can take, a, a, you know, a green to get that other stuff in me, but I know that protein, what it does to me. And then all the other vitamins I take like probiotics and, and like you said, the dehydration causes your, you to back up and you be, you know, constipated to be T, TMI here. I, if that happens, um, I know the night before I do take a detox tea. And I know that in the morning and I drink, as I take the detox tea, the first thing in the morning, I drink me two bottles of water. I know within an hour, it, it, it's going to, it's going to flush me out. And I do that because you like you learn, right? You learn what your body does. I know that when I make a mistake and I don't eat right, if I don't do A, B, C, D, and I don't want to feel that bloatiness, because when I when I get con like that, my stomach looks like I'm like a couple months pregnant, and it's would... so it, it hurts so bad, it hurts bad for me, and I have to get it out. So I take that detox tea before I go to bed, and then I drink a lot of water the next day. Uh, and within an hour, it's flushing, and you just have to stay home because it's 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 you have to stay home. I'm just gonna tell you. And it's not if you don't want to do that on a regular basis, then you know not to do it. And you just, I you get tired of it. I'm sorry. I just learned, like she said, if you don't change your nutrition and you learn to me, it's not worth it for me. When you okay, when you've been 300 pounds and a fat kid, I'm just gonna be honest with you. And you lose all your weight and you're at your goal. Right now, I'm at my goal that I've always wanted to be. But I now, it's like, it's never enough. Like my husband goes, you keep going 10 pounds lower, 10 pounds lower. I said, well, I now am at 146, 145. I want to be 135 because we're renewing our bowels in three months, right? I don't look good in that dress. So it's like, when you get to that goal, you go lower and lower until you look the way you want to look. And that's what I want to do. But when you get there, you don't want to go back. Yeah. It's not because everybody tells you how good you look. It's in, in me, it's in my head. I don't want to ever go through that childhood trauma yeah. or that trauma you went through all your life and you've worked so hard to get there. I know we have people on here. I've gained and lost the pounds all the time, right? But when you've been that heavy, you've been through some trauma, emotional, physically, whatever you've been through in your life, for me... I don't want to go back there because when I look in the mirror now, even though I'm thin and I'm thin to people, I still see the fat girl. And yeah. my husband gets mad at me because this is what I say. And I'm going to, and this might be, I tell myself in the morning, this is my motivation to myself. Don't take my advice. I tell me, if you don't get your fat A up and get to working out, you're going to go back to that fat girl. And I talk to myself like a big person because that's what motivates me to get off my butt and not ever to go back. And I keep those fat pictures in my closet on the side. So it's up in that closet and I throw away, I just went through my closet. I have, I have three big bags of clothes that I'm giving away to Goodwill. Their size is eight and 10 and six. I'm in size four. You need to get rid of that, those clothes. Cause yeah. your thing is don't get back into them people. I'm just telling you, yeah. this is for me. Cause if you do, it's and you and when you put on that size four, that size six, and you go, okay, I'm here, and then you put it on it feels tight, you know, even though you don't get on the scale, you know something's happened, and then you need to get back on track. All it takes is a week, right, Steven, for you to go back and lose that one or two pounds and you just keep that two pound window, like they do HCG, that two, three pound window, and stay there. You can cheat, you can have a little bit of whatever, but when you feel it go back, right, Lenita? You go back. Because yeah. if two and three pounds is the window, not five pounds, two and three pounds. Because what happens after that four pounds, you have six pounds, eight pounds or whatever. So whoever's on this call and you've gained weight, yes, it's forgive a cascade. yourself. Yeah. Well, forgive yourself thing, and this, just get back on track. This is a tool. And that's, you know, and it, it's not a magic bullet 
it's a tool. Even like with HCG, I would always, you know, people doing a 40 day round, it's like you have 40 days to transform your habits. Mm -hmm. And that's what this, this time on these medications, it's time to transform your habits, transform your lifestyle, do mm -hmm. things differently, put your health first and take care of yourself, be kind to yourself and feed yourself quality fuel. And, you know, and yes, you know, and it's not so much cheating. It's life has events, you know, and you're going to go, you're going to go to a wedding. You're going to go to a birthday party. Your husband's having a birthday party in two days. And, you know, I'm going to allow myself to indulge a bit on that event. But I know the very next day I'm back on track, back in my groove, because that's what's going to keep me healthy and keep me functioning. But, you know, but I, I save those off. calories. I know that during the day, my windows is 1,100 calories, 1,200 calories. That's just for me, my body. And I know that, okay, in the morning, I'm going to have to cut back. But I know this party thing happens at 630. So that 800 calories, I'm saving them for that day because I know that I'm going to have a bite of everything that's on that table. And I can I can eyeball how much it's going to be. How much, And then I'm going to take my detox tea before I go to bed. I know the trick. That's just me because I know that I need to flush it. I um, you know the bad stuff, but I don't do it every day. I just know that like Steven talked to me before I went on vacation, what I need to do when I was on vacation. And I think I'm going to tell you right now, I owe it to you too, that I did well on my vacation. I gained 10, I gained two pounds. Yes. But I worked out every day. Everybody yeah, there you go. And the whole family in Airbnb was sleep until 10, 11 o'clock. Right. I woke my my myself up at six o'clock, six thirty. I went to the gym and I worked out for 45 minutes, minimum walk at a very fast space. And I said, I'm gonna burn eight to six hundred calories before we get started with the family stuff. And then we walked, we went to New Orleans, we went to different places and we walked all day. But that's what helped me through that whole eight day vacation because I was eating stuff I don't normally eat. I was eating gumbo, I was eating alligator, I was eating thai foods, I was eating Nah, yeah, no, you're, you're, but I was eating a little bite. I, I never had a full, I never ordered my own food. I always, I told my husband, okay, but order this. And then I would take an extra plate and I would just put a little bite of everything of his on my plate. But I never ordered food on vacation. I just ate from his plate because I knew all I was going to do a bite, bite here, bite there. But I knew yeah. it was different from my diet. And, you know, and I did feel sick some days and I knew what it was, but I had the conversation before I went on vacation with Steven, with Anita. I had that conversation with this group before I went. I had the tool and I knew what it was I needed to do before I went. So I'm just telling you, don't beat yourself up. Forgive yourself and in the universe and just keep moving. Just keep going. Keep going. Just brush yourself and just say, okay. And, and having a plan. Having yeah. a plan is huge. Boy, I tell you, meal planning is, is so huge, you know, and as I always try to recommend, figure out what you're going to eat the next day, figure it out the night before you go to bed and you've got it all lined out and you know what your calories, your macros, do you have to do that for the rest of your life? I don't, you know, I don't think so. Why is that so. a bad thing? Why is that a bad thing to do that? And you're right. You're right. Um, you know, but the thing is, is that you also learn that this much of this is this many calories, this many macros. Exactly. You know, this serving of yogurt or this serving of chicken. So, you know, you don't have to pretty much. But yeah, you, especially when you're in this process of training your body to be healthy and and function optimally it's that's where you you know meal planning is huge and having a plan i'm going on vacation i have an event coming how do i plan for it so i don't just totally go off the rails and set myself back six weeks because i went away for a week and was you know ate stupid you know there's if you have a plan that makes it so much easier to stick to that plan so me i have a thing is keep it simple Keep it reoccurrable and same. I eat the same food Monday through Friday. I just do because it, it gets too complicated after that. I, exactly. I, 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 I have three, I have two crock pots. I have the chicken, I have the beef or whatever. And I cook that stuff in big bowls because I milk it for my husband too. And I just throw it in the boxes, throw the vegetables awesome. in there. And if I have carbs, I can do that real quick, you know, 10 minutes, whatever. But 
I do that because if I don't, it's okay. Let me go to the, you know, the the donut shop down the street that makes whatever they make. And then I go to Burger King or whatever. And it was bad, but I always have boiled eggs in my refrigerator. It's think with me because if I know if I can't get the protein, I eat two of those and I yeah, have a big thing of protein. If I don't, if I haven't meal prep because I'm busy, I always go to my protein powder and I could put it in a shaker and shake it and drink it. I know I'm fine until I can get to the store and do it that way. But like you said, if it has to be repeatable and simple, repeatable yeah. and simple. And I learned that through, I think, I, I think ACG, I think. Repeatable well, and, and simple, repeatable yeah. and simple. And especially with this, where if you're using trackers, my fitness pal, things like mm -hmm. that. When you start getting complicated recipes, man, it's tough adding in everything into it. So yeah, when you're retraining your brain to eat healthy and do meal planning and meal prep, yeah, keep it simple because that's what's easy to drop into those those apps is, mm -hmm. you know, four ounces of chicken. <laughs> it's super easy. Four ounces of chicken breast. That's super easy. But when you start adding in all this big, you know, elaborate recipe, it gets tough and it gets complicated. And then, then you lose momentum because it's like, oh my gosh, it's such a pain in the butt to add all this stuff in. So this is, like I said, perfect opportunity to retrain ourselves with new habits with the aid of something that helps with appetite, you know, that's, and with fentermine, I'm going to just let that go. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it's wrong for me to say that, but that, but time, I'm telling you, but I mean, Stephen, so Stephen, help me. This is something that I've been needing to get off of. I'm so down to my last, I'm a, and I, I'm down to my last couple of pills and right. I know it's going to come to an end. And I, and, and, and so what can I do when I make that mistake and don't hydrate and I need the energy to get up because I'm telling you, I will, I have four dogs and a cat and all of them sleep with us, right? My husband gets up at five. He goes to work every day at five. On the weekends, he still gets up at five, five thirty. But me, I my because I take control of my schedule, I can do whatever I want to with my staff. And so I can, I will, my staff doesn't start calling me till 11. So I can lay in that bed and be a lazy person until 10 o'clock. But I know if I get up at five, I know my day goes so much better. But what do I do about those lazy days when my body is not letting me and I'm just like drained? What can I do? Are you taking the six daily? I don't even know what that is. That's what I want to know. Six daily. You know what? And and I just have to really do a, a, a testimony for the six daily. Okay. So, and, and uh, some, and I, I don't know, Paula um, and welcome Paula. I'm glad you're here. And so I am not on a GLP one. And for a few reasons, I'm, it's, I'm not a good candidate for a GLP one, but I have, I live with chronic illness and exhaustion, extreme exhaustion and fatigue has been, and I've spent the last six years, se yeah, seven years working back from being completely bedridden and brain fog and on the couch most days. And I started taking six daily two months ago. And so like, I'm, I'm, that. I'm, through telewellness MD. It's, okay, okay. It's, yeah. And I'll I'll get you the the um and I was taking a supplement that was $130 a month. And it was it's a multiple supplements. I mean it's handfuls, it's packets. Um this is forty dollars a month. It was like, oh, okay, wow. I'm I'm gonna give that a try because it's a lot less expensive than what I'm doing. And if it works just as well, woohoo, you know? And so and I'm even doing it to where I only started with two in the morning. You're supposed to, you can either do like two, two and two with meals or three and three with meals. I was doing two in the morning and finishing up my PM um, supplements from the $130 ones. Cause I'm not going to throw those away. I'm going to use them. I was going to, I did the same thing where I did three a day and I used up my other supplements and it's, yeah. it's really, it, it's to, it's really to answer your question um, is Rochelle is, well, fentermine is, I mean, you have a few, you have a few different agents we could talk about, which is caffeine, right? Now, mm -hmm. uh, coffee is one thing, but if not, you could always go to like a green tea, right? Okay. I know people that do this and I do it from time to time in the summer as I'll get two green tea bags. Mm -hmm. and I'm in my now game. First thing in the morning, I got iced green tea. Okay. Right? So that's another way to get it. Now, a, a two packets of green tea is going to probably contain, let's say, let's say about 30 milligrams okay. of caffeine, which remember we want about 60 milligrams. That's, that's what a normal 
eight ounce cup of coffee is. Remember the whole Starbucks thing. Um, the Starbucks venti has it. It's actually the mathematics like eight point seven days worth of caffeine. <gasps> Remember, a venti Starbucks coffee has we round up nine days worth of caffeine. I used to be addicted nine to that. days <laughs> worth of caffeine. By six in the morning. Well, that's a yes. great idea, right? Um, I have saved so much money. Not, no Starbucks. Yeah. So the, you, the green tea. Uh, I'm a fa I look. Okay. I'm right. Caffeine. Now. Caffeine um, is the most widely abused drug on the planet. I mean, now it's been. This has been a fact for many, many years now because we have been drinking caffeine. We've been drinking tea. We've been drinking coffee. For millennia, for thousands of years. So mm -hmm. there is a component to it. Now, what we have done is we Starbucks it and we screwed something perfectly into oblivion, right? How do we get people to drink more coffee? Well, let's give them a week's worth in one cup. They're like, you, CEO, go. You, we got this. Um, uh, so caffeine yeah. is a very helpful thing because it does help with Alzheimer's, dementia, um, all kinds of other neurological um, disorders because it keeps our brain thinking and working. Nobody's had a cup of coffee and being like, I'm going to go there, right? You know, like, no, you get up, you're motivated. Like, let's go get the day started. Um, so that is definitely an option for you, making sure you have B vitamins, especially like you know, that's vitamins. why the six daily is really good because the amount of methicobalamin, which is vitamin B12, it also comes with B6 and a few other of the B family. Um, methicobalamin is just kind of like the main star, but all it's the Michael Jordan of the B vitamins. Um, uh, nevertheless, these things will help with energy for uh, energy uh, uh, production. Okay. And clear brain, brain fog. That's what I found this past month. Is the first time in seven years that I don't have brain fog, and it was switching to the to the six daily. Only taking three of them. I only have like six packets of my other ones left, the nighttime left, and then I'll be totally. And I put does, my husband on it, and I actually just put one it of on. the does one of the in this in the in the six daily. Does it have uh, five HTP in it too, in any of it, or no? Yeah, I want to say it does have a small amount. Okay. Does it? Interesting. I, okay, because I. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I, I'm a supplement person. I know a lot about stuff. I'm just oh, six daily is the first thing to pull up here. Hold on. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys. I've been on every diet in the planet, and I've tried oh. every supplement, every company, to try to. And this is after I don't know, almost 15 years. I finally yeah. found. I can't read them. Too small. But that's and that or also what about um like that would be my have to get on your own because I'm looking at this it has all the it has vitamin A C D and it, 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 I just want to let you know um <clears throat> there's B12 uh, vitamin B6 okay um and vitamin B12 now vitamin K K2 okay. A uh, really great study on vitamin K2 and D3 that came out this past week. Um, how if you don't have vitamin K2, um, vitamin D, remember we talked about this last time in Ashley, calcium. It If you don't have vitamin K2, it shuttles calcium into soft tissue structures, most notably the aortic arch. But guess what? Guess where that goes to? The LAD. The LAD is the main left ascending artery of the heart. So it puts plaque on your heart. So we have taken something good, but people take calcium and they make it bad. <laughs> just, yeah, um, but th what I'm trying to tell you is vitamin B12. Now, let's just cut this in half. You you only get 2,000% instead of 4,000% of what you need. Um, all of the dosings are so high that it's absolutely fantastic, especially for the- B1? The yeah. B1 too? Uh, this one's got B6, B12. Okay. Right. You riboflavin, thiamine, which actually could be considered that. You, you, you say those are the other Bs, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it gets you everything you need. 
Um, it does. That, that, that makes sense. Um, I find it to be very, very, for all of you listening, to make sure I was a very big proponent of cherry picking everything to get the best version of it all. And that's a full-time job. It's a full-time job. So there's just, there's no room for that anymore. Um, this is a very easy and uh, very, very easy way to go about it. Uh, just really quick is I was looking at um, the thing about B12 too is low B12 is one of the best ways to get depression, yeah. um, cognitive disruptions. Because remember, B12 is required in every metabolic um, every cellular metabolic process. Now, all right, cells, great. They're everywhere. Skeletal muscle, a lot. But we have to look at things called concentration of mitochondria. So density. Where are the two densest locations of mitochondria? Brain heart. heart. Brain. So, yeah. Would, if you got would, low B12, you're not going to feel good, that's for sure. Would B12 with like lipotropics or just B12 injections be helpful? Um, I mean, both have their hand, both have their hand and a lot of good things. But um, what we like to do is make it as easy as, as possible by giving the most simplistic recommendations. Yeah. I have worked in communities where I've given the most complex five page reports just on why you're going to take these three supplements and it's just it goes one ear out the other it doesn't get read it doesn't make much sense and sometimes it's not even feasible for the individual therefore not always the best option you know what a recommendation that goes unused is worthless yep. so you got to figure out what is going to work for the person in front of you that's sometimes where we have a thing i tell them all this too like the good better best here yep. are your three options Sometimes you can't do the best all the time because it's just not, that's not the world we live in. So here are your three options. Here's a good one. Here's a better, here's the best. That's it. Those are your three. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we did on your call too, Rochelle, is I remember him giving you, know, here's your options. Let's, let's work. And so, I mean, and that's, I'm 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 and I'll preach, I'll preach it again. The best thing to do is if you're in, trouble really cool. don't try to try to fix it yourself get on a call with steven and lanita and let them tell you what you need to do because your greatest support is people who's been through the storm yeah. and i uh, i learned that and it's like i'm thankful that the universe brought me here because i think i would have been in a, in, in in some other kind of trouble or not or not reaching my goal or just being not where i wanted to be mentally or whatever but if you're in trouble, don't sit on it. Get on it immediately before it before it becomes you know before it becomes you know really stressful for you. And that's what I know because I mean I think I've you know even though Stephen said you know let me know when you reach your goal. Well, I've, I think I've emailed you guys twice and I haven't even got to my goal yet. I got according you know six pounds to go, but to 140. Um, but I, I my mindset is not there yet. So I got too many parties going on. So after this last one. I'm gonna get back on track. I know what I need to do. And I'm just gonna get motivated and say, okay, I have to get these six, you know, six, eight pounds off of me. And, you know. And well, and, and Stephen lined it out what, you know, for what you to do next and which is that is, and that's why I always love Stephen's like, what's next? Cause mm -hmm. you know, it's always a process and we're gonna get to this and then what's next. And so, and I think, cause we knew you were going on vacation and he lined you out. Okay, when you get back, and get back on track, you need to do this, this, and this. And so you know, as soon as your husband's party's over with, at this, you know, it's time to then implement what we went over in the call. And that's, you know, that's the whole purpose of this. I mean, I feel so blessed to have connected with Ashley and Stephen with Telewellness MD because I don't know any other company out there that is offering what you guys are offering to my people to my people in my group for free, you know, it's just like, because you want to help educate because that's the huge problem here is the lack of education, people getting handed a medication that they're injected. This is what always makes me crazy. You're being handed a medication that you're injecting into your body and you're basically told good luck. 
and it, it comes in a plastic bag. It's criminal. It's criminal what because be wrong with that, you know, and most, it's, yeah, most and it's all you about go to a pharmacy to pick it up with your name on it, or you could go out of a pickup truck with a plastic bag. Good luck. They they yeah. didn't they didn't tell me how they told me what you know you inject it the same day you know the week or whatever, but they didn't give me any kind of you know health and wellness advice. They didn't tell me to stay within a diet. Um, and they said, oh, you'll know because you, you you won't be able to eat no more. That's the only thing I got. But it it was a ripoff. I'm just going to say that. And It's criminal. Like, because, and, and honestly, it it's a places, lot of money. It's places like that. That's all it's about. It's about the money because they're counting that you're going to fail. You're going to blame yourself for failing. And you're going to go back to them and spend more money with them because you think you did something wrong. Not the fact that they didn't educate you on what you were supposed to do. And that's why I'm just, like I said, I feel so blessed that this company is all about education and lots of education, education that's so much more than we've even, you know, we're just scratching the surface here. And then the support, these calls, I mean, you know, Stephen and Ashley are, this is, they're volunteering their time to help the people that I've, you know, that have joined my group. What, a blessing is that you know i, I think what, i did call ashley and ask her a question about my doses and she i think helped me immediately because i couldn't remember yeah. what to do or whatever and i think she helped me now that i'm thinking about it but yeah. you're right so what happened to me so this won't happen to anyone the company that i went to is local so you know it, it, um a little clinic right and they give you such a low dose for four weeks right yep. and then they get you to where okay you got to come back you want to lose more weight well they're just yeah you know, and can you, who can afford, I mean, who can afford over a thousand dollars a month for this medication? I, the funny thing is, is the way that we do it, a thousand dollars lasts you over three months. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's, that's yeah. the other thing too, is everyone's like, when they first see the price, they're <laughs> like, oh, I can't afford that. But it's like, when you break it all down to how long this is going to last you, it, yeah. it, you most certainly can. Yeah. It's, it's okay. not, you know, it, you're right. You're most certainly can. Your health is important. And I'm just telling you that your health is more important than anything. Yeah. You don't yeah. have your health. You don't have anything. Okay. Rochelle, well, okay. thank you so much for sharing yeah. your story on this one. I'm going to have to bounce to take a call. Um, I look problem. forward. I look forward to seeing all of you. And let's keep growing this. We'll have a call. I think we have a a really good schedule we need we're going to do every yeah. other week no matter yeah. what please anybody watching this ask us questions that's what we're here we're here to answer questions please yeah. ask them there is no yes. bad questions please ask us yes so thank you for your time Stephen. we'll tell we'll anytime, see you anytime, anytime i will talk to you day. all uh i'll talk to you all very very soon and rochelle keep me updated on that stuff i got you i will i'm gonna i'm gonna reach my goal i promise i promise no, no, no. When you reach the goal, Rochelle, you're going to have a new goal, as everybody should. Yeah. There is yeah. no one thing. I hit my goal. That's it. I'm not going to do shit anymore. No. You find the next goal. Because then it comes, what's, what's next? next? What's, what's next? next? Of keeping that it's weight off. It's catching on. Go through your closet and clean it out. Get all the, <laughs> the stuff that's too big. Throw it away. Give it away this week. I have three bags okay. sitting right here. Give it away. Awesome. All right. You, you all continue on, and I will talk to you all, Anita. Uh, shoot me a text and I'll 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 talk to you in a second too, Ashley. Right, Sounds great. Right, bye. Um, Take care. Thank you. Bye. Ashley, I was gonna ask you. Um, so the new year, new you program is done. We have correct? one final Zoom call tomorrow. We do have a, a, the finishing yeah. Zoom call tomorrow. Okay. I wasn't yeah. sure because I know last week you guys were traveling or something, and so we skipped last week. So great. We have one last um, Zoom call tomorrow for so uh, and I will let the people in my group know who are in the new year, new you program to to join us on that Zoom call tomorrow if they're able to. And then I'll I'll also post the recording in my group. And, you know, like I said, I appreciate and I appreciate your availability. And just so everyone knows, too, Ashley helps work out the best deals for everybody. You know, she's really good at going, OK, well, you know, this and this and that. And if we do it this way and you've got points. And I was going to tell you, too, Rochelle, if you say you have a friend who's going to be ordering from Telewellness MD, um, make sure that you let 
Ashley and I know who that friend is so that you get points because you actually, oh. if you refer somebody, you get points for that, that you can then use towards your, your purchases. So it gives you money off. So okay. I want to be sure because if she orders, she's going to order through my link, it would automatically go to me, but I always want to make sure if you've sent a referral that those points go to you. Okay. I'll make sure I tell her. So, and the same with everyone else. If you refer somebody, just say, Hey, I referred somebody they're ordering. Here's their name. And Ashley and I will search them out and make sure that the Ashley's that's what she does for, for us is she makes sure those points get transferred over onto your account. Okay. I'll make sure that she knows. Oh, fantastic. Anybody have anything else you want to discuss real quick questions to ask? Um, and I know that I have Paula, I muted Paula. Sorry. You had, you were having a conversation. Um, let me see how I, uh Oh, uh Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm technologically challenged. There are participants. Paula, I can unmute you. Asked unmute. Just in case, if Paula, if you want to share with anything. So, and if not, then we'll go ahead and just, we'll, we're going to resume. We, uh, we uh, Stephen and I put it on our calendars. So it's going to be every other week now that we'll have these calls. Um, and then I will also be letting everyone in the group know when the next challenge or um, group, you know, new year, new you won't, it won't be a new year, new you, because it'll be in the middle of the year. But, you know, the next 12 week program to jump in, you know, it, it, they just started it. Um, we learned a lot, gives great information, wonderful motivation. It just is a beautiful community to come together and learn together and support one another on this journey. So um, that we can look forward to that. How, when do you, are you guys talking about when the next one might begin? Um, so I, we might be changing it a little bit to like more of a continuous pro program versus the like 12 weeks at period. Um, so I think what we're talking about is once you kind of opt in, we'll set like a workflow where you get certain information every week and then we'll do the Q and A calls like bi-weekly or once a month. Um, for anyone who's been ordering GLP ones, not just for the program people. So we're still trying to figure it out, but hopefully we'll have more information within the next week or so. Wonderful. And then dad, just let me know and I can pass it on to my group um, because it, it's, that's what we're trying to do is build a community of support so that everyone has, you know, somewhere to go when they're have, you know running into challenges. So this is a perfect opportunity for that. So. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. And I will, I'll put this in the group. And do you want me to send you the links to this? These You're in the group. So you can see the links to the group, right? In the, to the calls. So yes. perfect. So I'm just going to drop the link in the group once it does its thing on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a little while. <laughs> it does. It does. Well, this is the first time I've used my phone. So it'll be interesting. I was normally did it on my computer, but I thought I'd try my phone this time. So we'll see how it works. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a wonderful week and, or, and we'll uh, resume this again in two weeks. Sounds good. We'll need them. Thank we'll you see you sharing yourself. I appreciate it. Bye. 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 Take care, everybody. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.